Okay, everyone. I'm just going to take this opportunity <clears throat> whilst we're out. <clears throat> excuse me. Whilst we're out hacking, to just actually give a bit of an update on um, updated information, really, on Rose because I've had lots of questions, lots of inquiries and sometimes it's good to um, get the info out there and hopefully answer any inquiries, current or future. So you can see that Kyle's out hacking up front on Rose. Um, hopefully you can hear me, it's a little bit breezy today. You can see by the horse's tail actually, the coat is made. So Rose is our Irish mare, she's Irish draft registered, um, she is she's 16 hands, maybe 61, bear in mind Kyle's tall guys, is 6162, she is 11 years old, she's rising um, 12, she has got um, great references, previously she was um, on a college, so she's been used on a college obviously that shows versatility of the horse um, and you know all horses ho horses are unpredictable that's obviously that's what you know that comes with every single horse but you can't have an unpredictable horse working on a college um, so you know that shows her versatility it shows how useful that she is it shows that she is basically good enough to for students to ride learn on um, educate themselves so to do that you need a horse that's obviously got a good level of education and experience themselves and also a level-headed horse and one that is is, is not unpredictable any more than any horse is so obviously she has that as well that she's done um, more recently she was owned by a lady who rose was her first horse um, and for the past 18 months she's served that purpose and done very well but she's more than a first horse in all fairness to her um, but the point being that she's done that and she's done it well um, with a great reference, great references, nothing but good to be said. Um, so again, that just shows to me how level-headed that um, she is. Obviously, her breed um, and type. Oops, we were going off road there. Um, suggests that anyway. You know, obviously being Irish draft bred, they are very sought after, a very popular type, um, and known for their known for their quality, known for their temperament, their level headedness um, and all of that. So she also previously has been ridden by um, children as well. So whilst I'm not here to say a 16 and 16 one horse is something that you should be buying for a child, the point is that obviously again she's been level-headed enough and educated enough to be able to safely um have a child ride in her I've actually there is videos of that as well she has got a youtube she's got a number of youtube videos but one of them is some video clips from her previous homes and different riders different sort of ability of riders so you can have a look on there they don't always necessarily show Rose sort of doing her best dressage um, test or her best jump or whatever but it does show her um, being safe you know with a variety um, and different levels of rider. She, with us we have her, um, we do a lot of hacking, um, we do a lot of hacking out with um, as much as we can and we actually have really limited turnout at this time of year um, when I say limited turnout it's limited to virtually none um, in some cases but she's coping with that very well she has had a couple of um, morning actually a morning and an afternoon out this week because we've had some really nice weather it's dried up the field a little bit so um, she doesn't go to the field or anything 
like that. So she has had a few hours out this week. But as I say, she's settled really nicely into our routine. She's quite often handled um, by my mum, who won't mind me saying she is um, an, a mature lady. So she's in her uh, late 60s, oh, mid 60s, sorry. And she is actually five foot nothing. Um, so although very experienced with horses, she doesn't want to be handling and dealing with horses that are difficult or pushy or poor mannered um, or quirky anything like that those horses she does not want to deal with and she actually deals with rose every morning my mum does a few stables for us in the morning and rose is on her list um, and she's good as gold she just uh, mum just ties her up outside of the stable and walks out and she's patient waits for her hay to be put in um and all the rest of it so i am sorry she's not kind of visible in the uh shot at the minute we might just have a little catch up actually come on no let's just try let's just catch up with kyle so i have um i do video where i can on the roads to see with traffic as you can see we're fairly rural hacking here um, but with that we we are a cut through route so we do got quite a few lorries and there is a quarry down the road so we do get the lorries and the quarry lorries obviously get the tractors that sort of stuff because she's very used to the rural hacking which is what most people tend to have um, as I say she's an absolute pleasure to ride on the flat um, works nicely consistently in the outline she absolutely knows her job um, she's snaffle mouse um, and as I say she rides very nicely on the flat we've ridden her in open fields as well and she's sensible she doesn't try and go to the others in fact she's ridden an open field with horses in there that are already loose as well um, so that is a big big tip um, jumping as well fantastic around the show jumps really really good she'll literally trot in or a very steady canter and pop the smallest of fences and literally when i say pop i mean just pop so i i would expect somebody who was perhaps learning um with the jumping or wanting to get a bit better wanting to progress she would suit that job as well but also she's got a nice amount of scope she's got a good technique we'll catch up again Mol. she's got a good technique um she jumps all the colored fences she doesn't rush she's only snaffle mouse um kyle's hacking her at the minute one-handed in a snaffle uh no martingale and you can see that she's happily just um taking the lead and, um cross country she's great um Molly's trying to help the traffic make some good decisions. We're on a really blind bend there, actually. Um, I'll also just say, just before we get to this part of the hedge, if any of the horses step out, there's emus the other side of the hedge. Uh, yeah, which are interesting. Um, but going back to that with rowers yeah cross country she's great um she really is super scopy fantastic route fantastic technique there you go over there good girl code poor rose has to take the lead past them. Oh, and the dog now hello little doggy um but yeah great technique over the cross country fences um really really good um so that's pretty much, we've loaded her, we've travelled her, we travelled her in trailer, three and a half ton, um, obviously a bigger lorry as well, she's good to do. Um, she's currently barefoot, we do try and keep them barefoot where we can, for obvious reasons guys, the, the ever rising uh, cost of living is just through the roof. So anywhere where we can keep costs down, we absolutely will. Um, so if horses will go barefoot then that's even better she has got a vet certificate when her previous owner purchased her she passed a five-stage vet check 
um, absolutely no problem. So she's got that as well. And what I would say is prices of horses at the moment are a little bit up and down. Obviously they've been sky high the last couple of years. Um, and there's still some horses out there with fairly large price tags. Um, so, you know, I'm not here to comment on that. Everybody is entitled to value and price their horses as they wish. But I feel at her price, um, she's a very, very good horse. She is at um, 5,000 for her. Um, and for, for a little bit extra, she has her full tack, quality tack, professionally fitted. I mean, don't quote me on this, but I think the bridle's worth over £100. You know, it's good, good tack, guys. Um, also with her wardrobe, um, I can't remember exactly what that consists of, but it's certainly a few rugs. Um, so she's got all of her wardrobe and a tack, so she's very much ready for somebody to just get on and go, should they wish. Um, and you know to me she would keep an amateur rider very safe because um, I know you can never say never and I'm very careful what I say on these um, videos because sometimes people just literally hold you to every word you know and the horses at the end of the day we're dealing with live animals but um, she never ever has got any history of any booking, rearing, nothing like that at all, no vices. There's definitely no signs of that. I would trust her pretty much 100% we trust her. I mean, you can see Kyle on her now. Um, Molly that's riding Mia here. Molly is a um, fairly inexperienced rider and actually, um, if Rose isn't homed in the next few days, when well, Molly's got another day off work, which she hasn't got many days off, guys, hence why she's parting with her lovely cob, Mia, that she's riding now. But when she has got a day free, I'm actually going to see if Molly can ride her to show you all just how dependable and how good she is, even with a novice. She's absolutely cracking there. Um, I have considered... Um, I have actually considered clipping her um, and the reason I haven't clipped her is pretty much down to time really and there's still a lot of people that like horses to live out and I hate to clip them out and then people want them to live out but I do want people to just see her through a winter, winter sort of woolies because she's absolutely stunning I can't tell you what a lovely lovely stamp of horse she is um, she's as i say we possibly may clip her um i've just got to get my clipper blades sharp and so it's just me motivating myself on that one as well once she's clipped out guys if you saw her clipped out and i put all the the sort of jumping tackle you know the really nice tack on her and you saw her going around the school those horses out there that are on five figures she look exactly the same so i really can't recommend her enough she's a very very nice horse I do believe, as I say, that she'll keep her amateur riders safe, but you feel like you're riding a real horse. And that's no disrespect to any of any other horse, and I hope that actually makes sense. But, you know, she is a horse. You feel the part, you look the part. Um, because she's got a good level of education, she kind of shows you the way, um, you know. And to me, as I said just before, first horse yeah she's been that but she's more than that because to me you'll never outgrow her inability um she'll go on to do it, just whatever um whether that be jumping flat work hacking fun rides endurance what beach rides whatever it is you want to do um i mean this week she was ridden friday uh and then she wasn't ridden Saturday, Sunday or Monday and actually had no turnout in those days and we just pull her out the stable, tack up, get on, on the mountain block and go. She's not the sort that needs lunging first, she doesn't get tense, nothing like that. She's honestly, I really, really do trust her. Um, so I'm hoping that um, just answers everybody's inquiries. She's also up to date with everything as in teeth, worming, vaccinations, etc. Um, as I say, fully registered Irish draft um, passport as well. 
So super, super horse, very, very well priced for the horse she is. I'm sorry she's now just a dot in the screen, but me and Cody are certainly not gonna, not living life in the fast lane today. <laughs> not that um, Rose is fast, but obviously she's got longer legs than us. Um, but equally, Rose will happily hack behind, uh, pretty much buckle end as well, guys. So if I haven't covered anything you want to ask, feel free to drop me a message. Okay, thanks for listening. Hey, mother. Hello. Yeah. Girl Rose. Keep your balance, don't slide off. Come on. Oh, you better give her a pat. Cracking horse, this horse. 